So another update on the RV12 build. The cowling is now partially fitted. Uh, Graham has been working on this part, uh, getting all of the, uh, the lining up done. All the vents have been have been cut out nicely, which is really good. Um, this panel had to go back on to facilitate this, so avionics are on pause. But where we have got to with the avionics install itself is the main wiring looms are now all routed through the aircraft properly. Um, there's some bits down here, some fiddly bits down here we had to do. The flap motor has also been connected, needs cable tying, we now have the flap switch in. Uh, this panel is now fully secured and everything's where it needs to be. The wiring up here is now ready and all connected to the generator uh, control module which is on the other side of this bulkhead panel. And we've obviously done the bulkhead blanks over there as well. So, uh, and also the wing connectors as well have also been done. These panel plates have been done with the AOA pipe connector, the root connectors and so on. So all of that being done, um, Graham is hoping to, because the project has, the, has become, the cow has become his project. So uh, he's hoping to have that done in the next few days, uh, a couple of days labour and so on, I think it's going to be. Um, and then in the meantime, I'm going to finish off some wiring at the back of the aircraft. Some of these wires need to come up through for things like the uh, hinge pins, uh, the um, uh, spar pins need to go in. And once you've done that, this can then come off and hopefully Graham's finished his bit. This will come off and I'll finish building all of the avionics in here. So the touch screen, uh, the radios, the transponders and everything else and start to plumb some of this wiring up under here. And once you've done all of that, uh, the plan is to power everything up. Uh, we've bled the brakes. The brakes are all good. They're all working fine. And the plan is to power up so we can test the fuel pump um, and test there's no leaks in the fuel system itself. So all the pumps are now on there. Um, but it'd be good to have the control systems here, you know, read the uh, fuel pressure and stuff like that. Um, we could link the pipes together on the engine bay and test this before, but I think we're, we're going to be okay, to be honest. But it's nice just before we close all these panels out fully, and start tying all this wiring down finally it'd be nice to test the fuel system and just confirm that everything you know works it should we don't have any leaks in any of these fittings down here um and obviously any of the fittings that run up through to the front of the plane in there but otherwise yeah it's uh, it's it's coming together and it, it does look awesome with its cone on um it really does make a difference now it's starting to look like a proper airplane and so that all lines up nicely on this side um so yeah, it is really starting to come together. And after this, the plan is to put the tail cone on um, and actually turn it around because and, and, this garage is about 27 feet diagonally. So we should be able to fit it in diagonally with the tail cone on, not with the empennage of the stabilator, but with the tail cone all fitted on as well. And that will allow us to finish the actual canopy. And with the canopy fitted um, and the tail cone fitted, we can then wheel it outside test fit the wings and get the wings all fitted final build up the control systems because the wings are removable so we'll final build all of the controls for the wings and everything as a final fit um, so when we want to we can just remove the wings excellent um, and then we'll start to arrange uh, a full and final inspection uh, with Morris our inspector then we'll build up the stabilator uh, the, the vertical fin and everything else here we'll do the engine run up here as well at the house and if everything is together then and, and working as we expect, the next step will be to obviously arrange with Morris to get it to the airfield and start to look at flight testing. And if all that goes to plan, the next step from there, of course, is getting it painted or wrapped. We're not sure which way we're going to go yet on that, but it is um, it is starting to uh, starting to get there now. Really starting to make some serious progress, and we hope to have it. It's November now, uh, end of November. We hope to sort of have this in the air you know, February time really, um, to be up in the air at the current rate. So yeah, we'll keep you posted. Cheers.